click on the subscribe button and press on the bell icon to watch my all new videos hello my dear this is ujjwal kumar sen and in this video tutorial you are going to i am you are going to learn of course i am going to share with you about v optimum and of course t optimum so let's get started what is v optimum and what is t optimum basically if you are studying you know uh manufacturing uh engineering manufacturing and the numerical problems then i must say you have gone through economics of metal cutting just like so what is it economics of metal cutting even i have already shared with you couple of videos probably have watch or maybe you haven't watch i don't know you have watch or not but yes in case of economics of uh, economics of metal cutting we have few most important formulas but if we are talking about uh, economical manufacturing economical manufacturing then v optimum and t optimum play most important role and uh, you know this these two terms are interrelated to each other that is also most important i mean these two terms are interrelated to each other because according to taylor's tool life what is state that according to taylor's tool life we have v to the power n is equal to constant sometimes we have also written c right so by seeing this equation you can say that v and t are both the terms are interrelated to each other right v for speed and t for time t is to life and n for exponent it is also known as to life exponent and c is constant right it is you know uh, it is most of the time given or not given that is depend on the question so if you are preparing this topic for numerical point of view then this is the video you need to watch all right so uh, you know in this tutorial i'm going to share with you these formulas actual interrelation and what are terms you need to learn i am also just going to share with you so basically we can write this here also v optimum is equal to constant by t optimum we can see right we can write this sorry it's t optimum if we know t optimum is what what is the value what is t optimum then we can also know we can also come to know v optimum so most important thing is that we have to find out what is t optimum what is t optimum so then let me share with you there is a formula which we have used lot of times a lot of times we have used that is 1 by n minus 1 t c t plus m2 by m1 now probably you don't know what is n while well, i have already shared with you what is n and is to life exponent right and tct is tool change time what is tct it's tool change time and of course it should be in minutes this is tct and i have seen question in many question they haven't share what is tct so don't get confused in that if tct is not given in the question then just take it as zero because i have seen numerical problem as in complete examination there they haven't mentioned what is the value of tct so for that case if that case you haven't practice such type of problems then you may face problem in the examination okay so uh, i am sharing with you don't consider the consider is a zero tool changing time okay now let's move forward to to other terms that is m1 m1 is you know what m1 is direct labor cost direct labor cost and you know this is here here you can make mistake you can make mistake what actually the in the question it probably given work uh, hour per minute okay hour or minute if it is given hour rupees per hour basically given we have to convert that into rupees per minute they can give in hour okay if it is given in hour we have to convert in minute if it is given in minute then it's okay 
first of all in numerical problems here you will face a, a problem because you will not just uh, give concentration here you will give your full concentration to solve the question so what you have to do you have to think on this that you will not make mistake here you have to convert its unit into rupees per minute if it is given our uh, sorry uh, rupees per hour right i hope you understand it now let's move to the that one that is m2 what is m2 it's tool cost per regrind including depression so tool cost regrind you can say tool cost regrind so if we can find out this value then we can put this value here so we can find out the value of v optimum that is speed optimum as i have already shared with you v optimum and t optimum play most important role to uh, to manufacture product in very economical rate you know why why it is happening suppose that speed is optimum optimum means almost maximum that is a sufficient one so speed is optimum that means production would be production would be optimum okay if production would be optimum then cost would of the product cost of the product will be less will be less as compared to if the manufacturing process and manufacturing process is not economical now if tool life is also increasing that means the production cost is less so what will happen because of this process you can easily guess my dear what what it can be happen because of this if speed is more production is more t is more therefore productivity will be more productivity will be more and if all these terms i mean this term this term this term and this term these four terms all these four terms if all these four terms is more that means cost of the product will be decrease that's why we can provide product to customer in very reasonable price in very reasonable price so that's why you know in this way the company can make maximum profit the company can run its product in the market quite easily people will talk about their product because of course if someone is producing product then definitely they can grab it well that is not the reason i wanted to create this video i wanted to create this video to help you out right to help you to find out its value so v optimum and t optimum are most important first and second if you are preparing for it okay if you are preparing for gate then in case of economics of metal cutting then you need to remember two other most important formulas because i have seen question ask about machining time what is the formula of this first of all to solve numerical problem formula is must without formula how could be possible you can solve the problem that's not possible isn't it so you need to learn the formula first and the best way to learn for thing about that is machining time machining time you know formula play most important like told you already so in case of machining time what is the formula machining time is equal to l by f into n so what is l length of machining that means the tool is traveling for which length it is known as l f is feed okay that most of the time feed is given mm per you know uh, feed rate if you are talking with an mm per time and what time maybe minute maybe second oh, that is that is dependent question right and now yeah if you oh sorry if you are talking about feed then it's you know mm per circulation I mean, mm per its unit is in mm per revolution if you are talking about feed it is mm or minute sorry mm or it is meter it is it would be in meter and n revolution per minute so here is the thing you need to learn if you are talking about if in the question they have asked to find out machining time then this is the formula but how they can relate it with other formula that is n because you know n is in rpm they can tell you velocity and you have to find out they can give you velocity and we have to find out n 
by using a relation that is you know v is equal to pi dn by 1000 we have a relation and by using this relation we can find out that n and n after finding out n we can put the value that formula in that formula that is l by f into n and from that we can easily find out machining time so in case of uh, economics of metal cutting uh, few things are most important just like machining time and uh, v optimum t optimum these things are really optimum uh, i mean really important in case of this topic i hope you understand what is v optimum what is t optimum and the extra one that is machining time and how they can relate uh, machining time with formula for finding out uh, speed of that machining process maybe spindle or maybe tool uh, maybe spindle or maybe you know workpiece that is depend on the on which machine you are working right now so this is all about this v optimum t optimum and i hope you learned something thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye my dear this is Joel Kumar Sen and uh, in this uh, video tutorial you are going to learn about Ernst uh, and margin theory as well as uh, chip thickness ratio how to find out all related formulas basically a question has been asked related to this theory and uh, if we can implement uh, this theory right way then we can get answer of that question that question has been asked in gate previous year okay probably because of that you have landed on this page so few formulas first of all i am going to share with you first that is chip thickness ratio if you are you are familiar with these formulas then you can just skip this video I mean just you can go to that numerical part okay so chip thickness ratio is equal to uncut chip thickness divided by chip thickness you can say this chip thickness is uh, after cutting right so T suppose that uncut is t1 and chip thickness is t2 okay and you can say like this also t u c or t c or you can t a b you can say also say that let's say t a by t b okay so this is about it <coughs> now second that is most important 10 phi is equal to 1 minus sorry it's r cos alpha by 1 minus r sin alpha and this this phi, phi is known as shear plane angle alpha is known as rec angle sometimes it is also known as i mean we can also say the side rate, side rec angle other than this there is other formula which is also important that is known as Ernst Merchant theory according to this theory we have 2 phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to 90 from this uh, relation we can find out any uh, any angle right if we have given two angles we can find out the other angle right now the fourth one that is coefficient of friction is equal to 10 beta so from these equations we can understand we can find out uh, you know we can easily find out it's a uh, uh, it, it's a given what we have given to find out in the question so basically uh, you can understand about it how to implement these questions right way then you have to see the question I hope you wanted to learn that question right so let's go for that question only here is the question we got and uh, in this yeah, yeah, I hope you can uh, read right now yes so what we have even in this question I'm not going through that because I have already shared with you if you are not newbie if you know the formulas what formulas you required if you are familiar with all terms then you don't need to read the question first first of all if we have this type of question then it's really easy to solve because you know what you need to find like, find out so here you can see what we have given to find out thickness of the produced chip that is we have to find out TV right because TV so we have to find out TV now for finding out TV we have formula chip thickness ratio R is equal to T A by T B. so for knowing finding out TV we need to know T A and we need to know R now let's find out things from here a cylinder is turned on a lathe with orthogonal machining principle a spindle rotates at this much the axial feed rate is this 
so axial feed rate means we have given uh, you know we have to find out uncut uncut chip thickness we have given that is 0 0.25 we have to find out this b chip thickness right and the depth of cut the depth of cut is this the rack angle alpha we have given now we have given the rectangle is 10 degree in the analysis it is found that the shear angle phi is equal to 27.75 now most important we have given ta now we have to find out r anyhow we can find out r then we can implement this equation and we can find out tv so tv is equal to what will happen t b we have to find out what cheap thickness right tv is equal to ta by r you can say that now here we got what we got the formula i have already shared with you 10 phi is equal to r cos alpha by 1 minus r sin alpha right so we have to find out r now what i am doing i am dividing r, r here so what we got cos alpha by 1 by r sin 1 minus uh, sorry 1 by r minus sin alpha so 10 alpha 27.75 is equal to cos 10 1 by r minus sin 10 okay i'm just doing cross multiplication suppose that we having 1 so 1 by r minus sin 10 is equal to cos 10 by 10 27.75 if we'll send that side then it will happen this will positive right so we got the relation word 1 by r is equal to this much now we have to find out answer from here and for this what we required we required calculator so we got the calculator cos 10 divided by 10 27.75 is equal to this much plus sine 10 is equal to this so what we got here 2.04 always get up to four decimal values i am taking five to get most requested answer now one by r what is r ta by tv what we have to find out tv so 1 by r t a by t b so after simplification what we got t b by t a and we have to find out t b so what we got here t b is equal to t a multiple this one okay so what we got 2.04545 multiple the uh, the t a t a is equal to how much we have given 0 0.25 0 0.25 we got here so what is the answer right now we are getting 0 0.511 the cheap thickness right yeah so which one is the right option for us right now yeah second uh, sorry first option is the right answer for this that sheet thickness uh, ratio is 0 0.511 right now what we get second question we got coefficient of friction at the cheap total interface obtained using ernst and merchant theory this is simple coefficient of friction we have to find out that is mu mu is equal to what we call 10 beta and they have already shared with you that ernst and merchant theory we have to use to find out its value right so to find out mu coefficient of friction we have to find out beta and we have the relation that is what is that relation let me share with you 2 phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to 90 degree right yeah you can see right now so phi is 27.75 b plus beta we have to find out and this is 10 is equal to 90 so beta is equal to plus uh, sorry beta is equal to 90 plus 10 i can say minus 2 into 27.75 so what we got 90 plus 10 100 100 minus 2 multiple 27.75 is equal to how much getting we are right now we are getting 4 uh, 44.5 right so 44.5 we are getting its angle now if we'll do this calculation 1044.5 what is the answer we are getting right now 0 0.9826 so which one is the right answer 0 0.9826 this one so a is the right answer now i hopefully got the question how to solve question and to solve this question what we have used uh cheap thickness ratio formula and phi shear plane angle we have used we have used Ernst merchant theory as well as we have we have used the coefficient of friction formula so if you know these four formulas then you can easily find out the answer and get four marks in the examination but most important thing where you are going to get confused most of the time where we confused here cheap thickness sometime we call t1 by t2 and we can we confused here what is t1 and what is t2 
so let me share with you just use t1 is before and this is after before means before cutting process that is feed okay before cutting process that is feed and after cutting process that is sheep we are getting cheap we will we will see cheap you know after op doing operation in lathe and probably you have we have done some operation on lathe i don't, I don't know for you are where, in which class you are studying but yes if you are studying this then probably you have seen cheap in uh, cheap uh, you know the spreading in front of the machine and most of the time we have seen in lathe machine so this is all about the cheap thickness ratio shear plane angle and uh, ernst merchant theory as well as coefficient of friction four formulas can help you one most important thing i would like to share with you here I have seen most of the time questions relate I and mean, definitely you will get this formula is very useful in almost all of the questions that is shear plane angle shear plane angle is most important and also they have used this formula also so these two formulas are most important for competition examination just like it so don't go don't uh, get confused in these formulas and if you're getting confused while solving problems try to find out your own method to remember that would be much better try to relate with things which is around you in which you are familiar then you, it will become easier for you to understand and to remember for a long time i hope you understand the concept thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye Kumarsen, and in this video tutorial you are going to learn about feed per tooth yes so basically uh, based on this topic they have already asked question in gate okay so uh, based on that topic I mean that question I am sharing with you this topic so basically what I am going to share with you in this topic I am going to share with you few formulas those are most important for finding out feed per, feed per tooth as well as some basic concept like so we know that v is equal to pi dn by 1000 one of the most important formula for finding out this another one is feed per teeth or per tooth not teeth exactly teeth is plural so let's say f is equal to we have the formula that is you know uh, feed in transverse okay feed in transverse divided by you can that n into number of teeth number of teeth you can say okay so based on that uh, we are just going to solve this question now let me share with you what is v v is velocity okay so basically you know this type of question already asked for cutter any cutter cutting machine okay any cutter right so uh, and pi you know that d is diameter and is again rpm and uh, you know thousand is here that's because of change in its unit okay now most important this n i mean why these two formulas because they will relate these two formulas and they will tell you to find out feet per tooth okay how they're relating they will tell you velocity and diameter you need to find out n from this formula and then find after finding out n you have to put that n here then only you can get the right answer so this is how these two formulas are most important if they are asking in question feed per tooth okay now let's go for that for, uh, you know uh, let's go for that question which has been asked in gate so basically what uh, uh, what question we have given and the question is just in front of you and you can read it so i'm also going to read this question and probably you will also read with me so in this question what we have given a side and face cutter as i have shared with you 125 diameter so we have given diameter is equal to 125 mm okay has 10 teeth so number of teeth number of teeth is equal to 10 if it operates at a cutting speed v is equal to 14 meter per minute with a, a table of transverse that is ft is equal to 100 mm per minute so we have to find out feed per teeth per teeth let's say f is equal to we have to find out so what formulas i have shared with you right now let me show you again we have two formulas here right v is equal to pi dn pi dn by 1000 so what we'll do v is equal to pi dn by 1000 we'll write then what we can say n is equal to v in multiple 1000 pi d so v v is how much we have 14 into 1000 
pi d is how much 125 don't need to change unit because already unit has been adjusted after multiplying thousand it will automatically become that right so what we got what we got 14 multiple 1000 divided by pi multiple 125 sorry pi multiple 125 so what we got here 35.6507 rpm revolution per minute well let's see the unit v is velocity meter per minute okay no need to do thousand already we have given that's why we have given i'm, I'm sharing with you diameter is in what diameter is in mm that's why we have multiple with thousand to make all units in si and the time would be remain in minute that's why it will become rpm that's why the formula is this i mean if you are studying this formula then what i have shared with you that is also important right now let's move to the that formula which is most important i mean which is uh, going to help you to find out the answer that is feed per teeth is equal to ft divided by n into number of teeth number of teeth sometime it is also called z okay now ft we have given that is where is ft ft is 100 okay and we have given 35.6507 and z we have given 10 so 10 10 okay 100 so 10 by 35.6507 let's solve this how much answer is getting i am here 10 divided by 35.6507 so answer we are getting here 0 0.280 0 0.280 right so this is feed per teeth so here is the right answer 0 0.280 so this is how you can you can uh, you can you know you can find out answer uh, of a question which is given now if you are going for any other question just like in cutting in cutting you know most important is that elements of machining cost I mean, if you are going for preparation of this chapter, then must remember machining cost. Machining cost play most important role, and uh, I have seen most of the time in gate, you know, in gate till now, uh, maximum to maximum four times they have asked this question till now, and it's been around uh, uh, 25 years they have uh, gate examination has been conducted more than even 25 years, right? 16 10 and um, yeah 27 28 years so maximum four times they have asked this question till now i what i have papers i mean i papers all examination so i have seen i did analysis and four times they have asked this type of question but from machining cost and one important thing is that one important thing is that that is you know uh mm, that is shear plane angle shear plane angle and also taylor's tool life Taylor's tool life yeah these topics these topics are most important because they have touched almost every year these topics almost every year they are touching these two topics so if you are preparing this manufacturing engineering for gate point of view then you should not leave these topics how to prepare well I have I have started sharing videos related to it okay so uh, definitely i will try to upload all videos that's why it will be quite helpful and will help you a lot to get good marks in gate and as well as if you're preparing for university examination then even i'm cre i started creating videos to help you out and i'm sure you are going to get best out of it okay so uh, this is these the three topics are most important okay now this is all about gate if i'm talking about university examination suppose that you are preparing for university examination university examination okay i don't know you are studying production technology one or production technology two or even manufacturing process i don't know what which subject you are right now is studying or maybe material science okay you are studying maybe any one of these you are studying okay so it doesn't matter what subject you are preparing but in case of university examination as per my experience of about five years in university and college teaching university and college so uh, based on this experience I am sharing with you most of the time I mean 
I mean, if you are not even preparing numericals, you can get good marks, right? I mean, you can easily get 60 marks if you are just uh, just listen to your lectures or professors properly in the classroom. But what happened? We do not keep, we don't, we don't focus on it in the classroom. That's why we struggle. And uh, anyhow, we can manage to get 40 marks, 40 to 45 marks. So don't do, don't do this. Just try to start learning from beginning. And if you start, if you study for even 20 days daily one hour with proper concentration, you can easily get good marks from these subjects. So don't let it go this opportunity and just grab it it will help you a lot in future right second uh, how to prepare theoretical part because like, i wanted to share with you <laughs> i should not share it but uh, yeah no problem so theory theory is play most important role first of all you need to have good writing skill well uh, from this video I got an idea I'm going to create another video and that would be more lengthy and more explanation with more explanation that's why you can understand each and everything how to prepare or how to write uh, engineering examination okay so that would be quite helpful but yeah let me share with you share with you in brief theory examination for preparation you need to just remember key points and then after remembering all key points key points you need to understand what about that key points i mean what is inside that key points once you will come to know what is inside that key points things will be easier for you you can explain yourself and start explain writing yourself till that time you will not or not be uh, not you not enjoy you have to start explaining yourself in the examination that's the key to enjoy engineering i hope you understand the concept Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye bye. So, how are you? So, this is Ujjal Kumar Sen, and in this video tutorial, you are going to learn about chip velocity. Well, of course, uh, I got two questions. Those has been asked in gate previous years. So today, first of all, understand what is basically chip velocity. Okay, whenever cutting process is going on and because of that cutting process there would be some velocity of that chip and that velocity is known as chip velocity. Okay, so basically, you know, what is this chip velocity? There is a relation. Okay, Vc is equal to R into V and Vc is known as chip velocity. Okay, and this V is known as cutting speed or sorry cutting velocity you must say that cutting velocity. Right, so this is the relation, and now R is equal to T uncut T uh, A by T V. So T, what is T A? That is uncut chip thickness, and this is chip thickness. Okay, C H I P thickness. Okay, and if you wanted to remember this right way, then you know before cutting, and this is after cutting that's it now there is one other relation that we know to find out this ratio and this is known as chip thickness ratio and because this is a ratio so this is um, r is not having any unit so there is another formula to find out chip thickness ratio that is sine phi phi is shear angle okay and cos phi minus alpha phi is shear angle and alpha is rack angle okay so this this is the formula we are going to use to solve questions those already asked in gate and i'm not going to use any other thing yeah another thing is that we know that v is equal to pi dn by 1000 we can also use this formula to find out velocity okay i mean if we, if we have given relation then we can easily find out velocity also okay so this these two formulas are most important for solving problems related to cheap velocity which has been asked in gate previous year okay so but i am waiting for yeah i am waiting for you so let's go for first question yeah first question is right now in front of you i hope you can see right so what we have to find out that is for your chip velocity i have already shared with you so chip velocity vc is equal to r into v r is what is the formula of r i have just shared with you sine phi by cos phi minus alpha into v so right now what i have to do what we have to do even you have to do 
first of all you have to write the formula what we have to find out after then we have to find out things from the question only and then put in the formula what is required according to requirement we will fill so first sign phi is shear angle that is 45 cos 45 minus this is rack angle rack angle we have 15 degree into v velocity is 35 mm sorry meter per minute so don't need to change unit because already this is the asking unit is meter per minute right so there would not be any unit from here so remaining unit be would be meter per minute so don't need to take tension for unit only now what required we, we uh, what right now required exactly that is we need to do little simplification here and 35 now we have to use what we have to use calculator right so we got sine 45 divided by cos 30 oh, sorry yeah i think i got right right multiple 35 so what we got the answer that is 28.57 meter per minute exact answer is matching with option a so no need to be delayed just mark the right answer and get marks so this is about the question how to find out cutting velocity of chip or chip velocity first question i have solved now let's go for the second question probably you are also waiting for that so for solving the first question i have used this formula what i have already shared with you what is the formula and how it is related with others right now we have gone to the second formula what i have shared with you already and the second question we can solve by using that formula i hope you are interested right so let's go for that question so we have a question right now okay, let me read question because this is an interesting question right so here also we have to find out chief velocity okay so for finding out chief velocity we have two formulas i have shared with you but here we have to use nah, i mean here we have to use that formula which 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 is suitable for so we have that formula b is equal to pi dn by 1000 now pi d d is how much diameter 40 and n is 500 by 1000 simple right so we can use this formula to find out the answer okay now what we are getting here pi multiple 40 into 500 divided by 1000 that means 62.82.83 so b is the right answer for this question now most important my dear most important thing is that what i am going to share with you right now only we know that vc is equal to r into v right but here what is ask, asking velocity with uh, which she flows on the tool that means velocity with which is the chief flows on the tool we have to find out so for finding out that we have this value right now what is most most important that i need to share with you here important here i need to share with you what you are going to the same do the same mistake here because they are saying velocity with the chief flows on the tool is so uh, if you are saying that uh, velocity with the chief flows on the tool is so we have to find out what velocity with which chief flows on the tool that means if you are talking about chief velocity then this is the this is not the formula for finding out chief velocity we got the formula here vc is equal to rv exactly same mistake you are going to do if you are solving this question right so what we have to do we have to find out if you have to find out chief velocity right then we have we have option that is we have to first find out v then put value here that is how much we are getting suppose that um, i think 62.8 right now r we need to find out for finding out r we have formula sin phi cos phi minus alpha sin phi is 25 cos phi minus 25 minus 10 so sin 25 by cos 15 what is the answer i am getting right now sin 25 by cos 15 what yeah 0.4375 now we have to multiple this answer with here 62.8 so 27.47 meter per minute so 
if you are talking about this a velocity with cheap flows on the tool that means it is not talking about cutting velocity it is talking about what cheap velocity okay so if it is asking for cheap velocity then we have to find out its cheap velocity right so what is the value of its cheap velocity that is 27.5 so this is not the right answer this is the right answer for finding out cheap velocity if you are talking about cutting speed then this is the right answer that is 62.8 remember this okay probably you are going to make mistake here right so what what formulas we have used to solve these two problems let me review again we got cheap velocity i mean the topic and we got two formulas to use one is the this formula and here we have used also use you know cheap thickness ratio formula that is sin phi by cos phi minus alpha so things we need to know formulas first and we need to know what elements we have used in this formula what are their units once we will come to know units and elements we have used in the formula then things become what things become quite easier for us to find out the answer so this is how you can solve problems solve problems and of course you can easily find out answer in this case i mean uh, let me uh, share with you one thing for 40 30 30 to 40 seconds that is you know if you are preparing for manufacturing engineering and uh, if you are preparing for gate point of view or you wanted to solve numerical problems then this is one of the important as well as simple topic as you are doing because all these topics are almost formula based so you don't need to have planning for that you need to just solve problems right so this is all about questions i have shared with you uh, regarding cheap velocity this is one of the most important topic i i hope you understand it and uh, hope it will be hope uh, helpful in the upcoming examination for you thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye today's topic is coefficient of friction as you have seen on the title of this video that i'm going to share with you coefficient friction in case of orthogonal cutting right so orthogonal cutting what is orthogonal basically 2d cutting is known as orthogonal cutting and oblique cutting is, is known as 3d cutting okay so basically if you are doing operation suppose that we are doing operation cutting operation on lip and then in case of that what would be the coefficient of friction for uh, i mean for the cutting operation so we can find out coefficient of friction and less coefficient of friction would be much better for having better life of the tool right so you know for finding out coefficient friction we are having a single formula yeah formula is formula play most important role as you know i have i have just shared with you that uh, i'm going to share with you a couple of questions those has been asked in gate previous year paper and uh, you know questions are based on this formula only i mean if you know the formula then you can easily implement it and you can find out the right answer so what is it mu it is denoted by mu just like you have studied in 12th class so mu is equal to we know that you know f cutting force tan alpha minus no it's minus it's plus f feed force by f cutting force minus f cutting force minus f feed force into tan alpha so here f cf means cutting force and f ff means feed force sometimes you know most of the time we have seen this they they used to call cutting force and feed force that's why i have given name that according to they have asked question now what is alpha here alpha is rack angle alpha is rack angle uh, if you if you if you will be wonder to know that there is also one way to find out coefficient of friction yes there is not one two three ways but i am going to share with you the another way to find out coefficient of friction is mu is equal to tan beta and this beta is known as friction angle so don't get confused here if someone as uh, if maybe question will come for one mark find out coefficient of friction if friction angle is this so you can implement this formula to find out the answer 
right but i have this seen this question uh, seen question i mean i am just going to share with you those asking gate and almost all questions are based on this formula only that's why i have shared with you so uh, would you like to go forward i mean i hope you wanted to go forward right so let's go for it this is the question we got and uh, the in this question what we have asked to find out coefficient of friction at tool chip interface that means we have to find out coefficient of friction now here they have given cutting force okay cutting force 10 alpha plus feed force by cutting force minus feed force into 10 alpha now we have the formula for finding out coefficient of friction right so cutting force is 1200 10 alpha alpha rectangle is 15 plus this thrust force that is 200 right divide by cutting force 1200 minus third thrust force is 200 and 10 alpha that is 15 this is simple right so they have asked this question in gate only they did not want to confuse you they wanted to just tell you if you know the formula just find out answer and give us a right answer and mark right answer and get marks for the so for solving the question right so right now what we required that is calculator so 12 into 10 15 minus 200 this much divided by 1200 minus 200 multiple 10 15 so what we got that is 0 0.10 0 0.10 so can you guess uh, what is the answer i mean what is the answer exactly we are getting here so we have to compare with this right so probably what we got here that this is the answer so 1200 plus 200 okay so f cos alpha and then yeah so what is the answer for this let's get started with it well there is there is some calculation mistake so here we got answer that is point 0.45 is the right 4549 so right answer is D okay so try to uh, try to uh, consider that's why you will not make mistake calculation mistake was there okay so you can do this quite easily right now let's go for the next question another we have orthogonal cutting operation low carbon steel pipe with principal this one this one is that now cutting force is this and this now let's go move to the next we have to find out ratio of friction force to the normal force that is mu is equal to friction force by normal force f by n we know this right now what is the formula right now we have i have shared with you that formula if you could not remember let me show you again so what is the formula for finding out coefficient of friction that is this right so we have to write that formula and we have to put values as it is so mu is equal to cutting force 10 alpha plus feed force by cutting force minus feed force into 10 alpha so we have given shear angle is this and orthogonal rack angle is zero shear angle is we have given shear angle is how much we have given 25 but orthogonal rack angle is zero so based on this we can say we can i mean we can find out the value of it right so what we got uh, uh, this one is and uh, cutting as angle is 90 okay so what we got here 1000 into 10 0 plus friction force is 800 divided by 1000 minus 800 into 10 0 don't get confused by seeing these values if you will get confused then probably you are going to get wrong answer so don't get confused here just keep going what you have and just putting values and try to get the answer so we know that 10 0 is equal to how much 0 therefore the remaining would be 800 divided by 1000 so this one you can say 0.8 coefficient of friction is 0 0.8 so again the answer i mean the option d is the right answer so what formula we have used only that one which one i have shared with you at the beginning of the video so now you can understand how that formula is important for you now let's go for the last question 
okay so this is the last question for this uh, for finding out coefficient of friction and all of these question has been asked in gate previous year paper that is the thing so again we have to find out what friction angle so yeah we have to find out friction angle and uh, machining will be so this is the thing here we have to find out friction angle that is beta we have to find out beta right so how you can able to find out beta for finding out beta we have to find out friction first because i have shared with you that relation mu is equal to 10 beta so by using this relation we can find out beta right or we can other we we have also other relation i will share with you just in this video only all right so right now what we have to find out that is coefficient of friction mu mu is equal to what i have shared with you cutting force 10 alpha plus feed force divided by cutting force minus feed force into 10 alpha right now i don't do uh, right very slow because i have already written slow couple of times right so friction force is equal to how much that is cutting sorry cutting force 900 rack angle is how much 10 5 plus thrust force that is also known as feed force okay so 900 minus feed force into 10 5 degree right so after calculation let me calculate first 900 into sorry 900 multiple 10 5 is this plus 450 is this divided by 900 minus uh, 10 5 multiple 450 so answer is how much we are getting 0 0.61436 this is coefficient of friction now by using this relation we can find out friction angle therefore beta is equal to 10 inverse mu right we can write this beta is equal to 10 inverse mu we got the value of mu and we have to just put this value here so what we have to do we have to find out inverse of mu yeah sorry 10 inverse of mu right so first of all let write this 10 inverse answer is equal to 31.56 degree this is the right answer now yeah <laughs> probably because by mistake or i don't know they for this uh, tutorial every question answer d is right but don't try to mark the uh, answer option d without solving it otherwise maybe you will uh, mark the wrong answer okay so don't go for that just solve the question find out the answer and mark the right answer that's the way that's the approach i usually recommend everybody even you too so that's about this video dot well thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye my dear so this is ujjal kumar sen and in this video tutorial you are going to learn about shear strength in case of metal guarding so uh, yeah of course i will share with you these formulas you require to solve numerical problems basically this video is for only numerical problems and in this video i am going to share with you a problem which has been asked in gate related to this topic so first of all let's go for the formulas you require to solve the problem right so first formula is here what is the formula let me share with you first of all what is shear strain okay you know shear strain okay but here we are talking about shear strain rate so its unit would be per second that's why because it's talking about shear strain rate so in the question it has been asked find out shear strain rate okay so its formula is v cos alpha cos phi minus alpha into tm what are these things let me share with you first okay so it is v v means cutting velocity or speed maybe some in some question it is it has been asked it is a value um, cutting speed so don't get confused you can use that here also to solve the problem alpha is rack angle and phi is shear angle shear plane angle is also called and tm is mean thickness okay so this is all about these points but here which formula in the examination you need to know to solve the problem that is important they will mix up with this one that means you have to find out shear plane angle for finding out shear plane angle we have another formula that is tan phi is equal to r cos alpha 1 minus r sin alpha and r is what chief thickness ratio okay so i have shared already shared what is chief thickness ratio what is alpha what is phi but even then i am why i am sharing with you because it is related to this problem only that's why 
okay so this is all about you know formula part of this video taught well now we'll go to a question directly which question has been asked in gate probably because of that you have landed on this page so let's go for it this is the question we got here now i hope you can read this question right yeah i got very good camera for this that's why it will not create problem okay just like it was creating problem in my previous video so this camera i think this is fantastic isn't it okay so it's uh, about it here the question is in orthogonal metal cutting process so what is orthogonal 2d right are given below chief thickness ratio is this so we have given let me use different color pen r is equal to 0 0.4 uncut thickness okay uncut thickness ratio chief thickness ratio uncut cheap thick uh, uncut thickness it should not be ratio okay no problem okay alpha is 10 cutting speed v is 2.5 mean thickness is tm is equal to 25 10 to the power minus 6 meter because micro is there and find out shear strain rate we have to find out shear strain rate we have given all things now first of all write down the formula for finding out shear strain rate what is that shear strain rate shear strain rate formula is here v cos alpha cos phi minus alpha into tm now find out what we have given here v is we have here v we have t we have alpha but we don't have this one phi so we have to find out for first phi to solve the problem without finding phi we cannot solve the problem that's why i have shared with you that number i mean that formula how to find out phi from the i mean from this uh from this numerical problem and then we can put that value phi here then we can get the answer so let's just write here 2.5 check out uh all all you know all in meter per second okay cos 10 okay so cos phi minus 10 into tm is 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 so once we'll get the value of 5 we can find out answer from this question okay so that's about it now we have to find out our task is to find out the value of 5 so we know that 10 phi is equal to r cos alpha by 1 minus r sin alpha okay r cos alpha y 1 minus r sin, sin alpha okay so this is the formula what is the value of r is 0.4 cos alpha is 10 1 minus r 0.4 cos sorry sin alpha is uh, sin alpha is 10 so sin 10 is here now we have to solve this equation so find for solving this equation what we required calculator and in gate you are not going to get this calculator so what you are going to get online calculator so keep practicing that otherwise we will face problem so 0.4 cos 10 divided by 1 minus 0.4 into sin 10 okay so we got the values here 0 0.0.4233 0 it's it's 10 5 what happened we you will be in a hurry and we'll just put this value here and you will get wrong answer don't do this first of all we have to find out phi so phi will be 10 inverse of this 4.4233 so just shift 10 inverse answer is equal to 22 22.94 degree phi is equal to shear plane angle is equal to 22.944 okay 442 okay degree so you can take 22 uh, 22.94 because after 4 we are taking very less value so that's okay we can neglect that now what we have to do we have to find we have to use this value we have to use this value here then what would be the equation 2.5 cos 10 divided by cos 22.94 minus 10 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 now after calculation we are going to get the value right so calculation is must so what we got here from this we got here 12.94 right so 2.5 into cos 10 the divided cos yeah cos 12.94 
मल्टीपल ट्वेंटी फाइव मल्टीपल टेन टू दी पावर माइनस सिक्स सो वट वी गॉट हेयर इट्स ए लैन दी वैल्यूज वी आर गेटिंग बट इट्स ओके दैट इज वन जीरो वन जीरो फोर सिक्स पॉइंट एट फाइव जीरो ओके नाउ ओके नाउ यू कैन सी इन द आंसर वी है All answers are, all options are basically multiple of 10 to the power 5. So what I am exactly going to do? I am going to do division of 10 to the power 5 to this answer. So what we got basically 1.0104 into 10 to the power 5 per second. We are getting answer after calculation. Now what next? You know very well. We have to compare with the given answer. So which one is the right answer here? A. is the right answer okay let's review again the question so first of all to find out shear strain rate we have to know two formulas that is what is the formula for find uh, shear strain rate as well as the finding out formula how to find out formula shear plane stress after knowing the formula we have to go to the problem and then we have to write both the i mean at least first formula that is shear strain rate after putting this formula we will put all values what we got from this numerical problem after putting all values we have what is i mean we have to face one problem that is we have to find out shear plane stress after this we have to use the formula which i have shared with you that is tan phi is equal to r cos alpha by 1 minus r sin alpha then what we got after putting all values here we will come to a point where we can do mistake that is we'll get value here we just going to put this value here and that would be big mistake of us don't do this mistake because after even knowing all things you are going to make mistake that means you are losing your opportunity don't do that so what you have to do you have to be calm you don't need to be in hurry calm and uh, give your concentration on the numerical problem and things all are things which are distracting your mind just keep those things away from it at least in that day when you will have examination then after after this we will have we have to find out tan inverse this so always check online that they are showing tan inverse or not after then put this value then we will get this value okay this value we have to put in this equation then we will get this equation now solve the whole equation now one of the motive i would like to share with you here when you are solving online then don't try to solve all together just solve a small small part if you are beginner then you can solve together i hope that will help you to get correct answer so this is all about how to solve shear strain rate problem and i hope you got some information from this video and you have enjoyed the total i hope so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye in this video total you are going to learn about one of the most important topic that is shear plane angle and in from this topic i have seen more than 6 times they have as question in i mean in gate more than 6 or 7 times i got questions i mean even more because i have seen these questions and i don't have all questions because i have downloaded few uh, previous year papers only so in this video total exactly i am going to share with you what you need to know to solve problem related to this topic so this total can help you to get one or two marks in up gate upcoming examination stay tuned and keep watching and yes focus on the video that's why you can do much better right so what exactly i'm talking about how to find out shear plane angle well we denote shear plane angle by phi and we know there is only one formula which is most important other than this there is another formula i am going to share with you in this video only that formula is tan phi is equal to r cos alpha by 1 minus r sin alpha okay what is r what is r that is chief thickness ratio that means it is uncut chief by cutting chip i mean already cut it okay after cutting the chip thickness okay so 
this is the formula i mean these two formulas based on these two formulas they have co asked question several times i'm going to share with you how to solve those questions one by one then what do you have to do you have to stay tuned and keep watching i hope you wanted to solve those problems i mean you wanted to know how to solve those problems then let's go for it here we got question and this question has been asked in gate previous papers i hope you can read the question so in this question we have to find out what shear plane angle they have asked the shear find out shear angle so we know that tan in tan phi is equal to r cos alpha by 1 minus r sin alpha we know this formula so we have to first find out what is r I have already shared with you what is R. R is thickness by thickness, but this one is uncut. This is cut one. So we have to find out first these thicknesses from this uh, from this uh, question only. So we have given orthogonal car bar is this, uh, this 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 cutting speed is this this. The feed is 0.24 0.2 mm per revolution. Okay. Depth of cut is 2 mm. So this is the thing, man. Depth of cut is 2 mm. Feed is this. Chief thickness obtained that is 0.48. Okay. Now they have provided that alpha is equal to zero. Alpha equal to zero. And cutting as angle is psi. Psi is equal to 90. If psi is 90, that means sine 90 is equal to one. So T uncut is equal to 0.4. Into sine 90 is equal to how much? 0.24 only. So here 0.24 we have to put. Then what we got? We got it here only. I think 0.5 one or not? I think actually it's 1.5. So 0.48 is 0.5. So we got chip thickness ratio 0.5. So we have to put these two values here. 0.5 cos 0. 1 minus 0.5 sin 0. So cos 0 is 1 point. Okay, so we got this that tan phi is equal to 0.5. So phi is equal to tan inverse 0.5. Right now we need to use calculator. So tan inverse 0.5 is equal to 26.56 degree. 26.56. So B is the right answer for this question. We have, I think, you, we have done the, this question, right? So let's move to the next question. Yeah, we got this question, and uh, yeah, I hope you can read this question too. Yes. So in this question, we have as in orthogonal machining process, okay, chip thickness and the uncut chip thickness are equal to this. So uncut is equal to Chip thickness C. Oh, sorry, chip thickness is equal to 0.45. That means R is equal to 0.45 by 0.45 is equal to one. Is equal to one, right? Now, if tool rack angle alpha is equal to zero, we have to. If we have given these two values, we can easily find out shear angle because in this formula, tan phi is equal to R cos alpha one minus R sine alpha. So R is one cos alpha zero one minus one sin alpha zero. So one by one is equal to one. So phi is equal to ten inverse one and ten inverse one is forty five. Let me share with you how. Shift ten inverse one forty five. So answer is forty five degree. So correct answer is D. So in this way, what I'm, I mean, think about what exactly I am using. Nothing. I'm just using this formula and putting all values together. And I have already shared with you. They will mix up with this. Which one is this? Chip thickness ratio. Because you know they try to confuse you. So this is the way to understand how they can relate formulas together. And once they will come to know how in the examination they relate in formulas. You need to remember those formulas, and you have to solve problem related to it. Once you will solve two three problems, then things become quite easier for you because you will become familiar with that, right? Now, let's go for the next problem. Okay, here is the next problem. You can see in this problem we have given what we have given. We have to first read. So first of all, what we have given in this problem, see. A single point cutting tool. Wow! I love single point cutting tool. I must say that. So what we have given in this question that uh, 
the rack angle is that is alpha is equal to 12 degree right is used to machine a steel workpiece the depth of the cut uncut thick uh, and depth of cut that is uncut thickness that is uncut is cheap thickness is 0 0.821 mm uncut cheap thickness right the cheap thickness under the orthogonal machining condition is under the orthogonal, orthogonal machining condition is that is exactly cheap thickness is equal to 1.8 mm therefore cheap thickness ratio uncut 0.81 1.8 so we need to have calculator what we got here 0.81 divided by 1.8 so what we got 0. 0. 0.45 okay and again in this question what we have to find out shear angle we know that that is 10 phi is equal to r cos alpha y minus r sin alpha r is how much we are giving r 0 0.45 cos alpha 12 r is what 1 minus 0.45 sin alpha 12 and don't make mistake here okay so what we got here 0.45 multiple cos 12 is equal to this much divided 1 minus 0.45 into sine 12 what we got 0.48 now we have to find out its inverse 10 inverse of this answer what we got right now so 10 inverse of the answer is 25.90 degree that means it is equal to 26 degree well as you can see if you'll see since about 9 minutes you have been watching my videos and within 9 minutes we have been able to solve 3 questions including the basic concept which I have shared with you first 1 or 2 minutes. So what is most important to solve problem related to shear angle that is the formula. There is only single formula. Alright, so based on this formula, you can have this question. One another thing I would like to share with you, probably they can relate with it in the examination. That is Marchant Theory or Ernst Theory. Okay, because alpha is here. So maximum to maximum, they can, uh, they can, you know, did I try to confuse by giving this uh, relation. In this theory, in this relation, we got 2 phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to constant and this constant they usually give so they will give you probably 90 degree 180 that is depend on them but for still it's about 8, uh, 70 to 80, 80 degree okay for still but they will give you so they will probably give you this and this this is or uh, if if they will give you this then we don't need to use find out but probably they can give you they can con they can uh, confuse you by giving or by letting this equation with this equation okay so this is how they can relate formulas and by relating formulas they can give you problem to confuse you okay so i hope you understand the question and the topic as well so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye so in this video tutorial we are going to learn about t optimum that is t means to life optimum so uh, why i'm sharing with you this video actually based on this topic they have asked a question who in gate examination they have asked a question based on this topic that's why i'm sharing with you and it would be quite helpful for you too because uh, in gate there are two questions they can ask one is t optimum to life optimum as well as velocity optimum v optimum so probably i will share uh, about that in my upcoming videos but today in this video daughter well i'm going to share with you this one only so basically let's go for the formula because this video is gate oriented only so i'll not talk about talk about any theoretical things these that i'll just straight go to the formula i'll tell you what to remember what not to remember and definitely i will tell you how to solve question yes in this uh, video tutorial only i'm going to share with you a question the same question which has been asked in gate that's why i will have approach and i will tell you also the way to solve the question that's why i will have some basic concept about it and once you will get any other problem related to it you can solve it by your own or itself so what is the formula for t optimum basically t optimum is equal to 1 by n minus 1 
TCT. I will tell you what is this M2 by M1. I will tell you each and everything what is N, what is these, what is that. That's why we will have something. Okay. So N is, you know, you know, Taylor's two life V N to the power V T to the power N equal to constant. And this one N is what is N. So this N, this is the at N. Okay. So here I will share with you. Uh, this is uh, this is formula one and this is formula two. Two formula we need to learn. First of all, what is n we got? Now we have to move to the next thing. That is what is TCT? What is TCT? TCT is tool change time. So TCT is tool change time. And always remember time would be given in minutes. Okay. If it is, it is given in hours, then convert it into minutes because uh, there is a concept to solve numerical problems right away in this uh, economics of metal cutting uh, basically it's a part of economics of metal cutting and you know t optimum is valid for economic manufacturing economical manufacturing okay because we wanted to increase i mean we wanted to get maximum tool light tool life and uh, that means the manufacturing cost will be less right we wanted we wanted to get maximum velocity cutting speed then what it is the meaning it is the meaning that productivity will increase that means the production cost will decrease what is the meaning of this economical manufacturing this is about it right now what is m2 and what is m1 m1 is and m2 both are most important m1 is direct labor cost and you will see probably in question they will give you in hour rupees per hour convert it into rupees per minute rupees per minute you have to convert now let's go for the last term that is m2 m2 is tool cost per regrind including depression okay so these are things you need to learn in this number i mean in this formula to find out t optimum okay so let's go for the numerical problem which we have been asked okay so here is the numerical problem just i have to turn this page out yes so right now you have a numerical problem which is in front of you just right now so in this numerical problem we have given what we have given and what we have to find out as i have shared with you we have to find out to life and that is minimum cost t optimum we have to find out so we are given formula 1 by n minus 1 okay tct plus m2 by it's what i share with you m2 by m1 okay so this thing i have shared with you till now okay so uh, probably if you did not remember then you can see that page and quite easily you can understand about it now what we have given this is the Taylor equation so n is equal to what n is equal to 0 0.1 so just keep writing what exactly we are getting just writing tct tct we don't have we have given or don't have given we don't know but i have read the question we don't have given tct okay so how to read the question okay don't worry read it in a single pass turning operation, the cutting speed is the only variable based on the cutting time cost and cutting as cost. Okay. Now, tool life for minimum cost given that cost of one cutting as is this. So, what we got from here that M2 is equal to 5. As I have shared with you, M2 is tool cost per regrind. That is 5 rupees. 5 rupees well i am from india i don't know from where you are, you are watching this video so according to your country you can change this currency okay all right rupees dollar european dollar i maybe you know but maybe anything else okay i don't know maybe yen okay that is up to you from which country you are belonging okay so now next what happened we have given m1 that is machine total cost okay that is the labor cost also operator wages including the machine okay that is wages so 75 here is the thing per hour we have given and before in the starting of the video i have shared with you that we have to convert all into rupees per minute 
so we have to uh, we have to convert into rupees per minute so we have to divide this by 60 to get the value which we can use that is 75 by 60 is equal to 1.25 1.25 now it is rupees per minute got it okay so we don't have given any value of TCT so TCT equal to 0 just put 0 M2 we have given 5 and M1 1.25 got it I hope till now what we have done you are getting each and everything we do not do anything because tool changing time is not given in the question that's why we are considering it as 0 okay now we have given m2 that is 5 rupees we have taken as it is we have given m1 that is 75 rupees per hour as earlier in the video i have shared with you that you have to convert rupees per hour into rupees per minute to get the right answer so we did that and by using calculator we got the 1.25 rupees per minute okay so what we did right now we just put the values of m2 and m1 so till now what we did i have shared with you again so 1 by 0.1 means 10 minus 1 5 by 1.25 so this become 9 into 5 by 1.25 again i have to use calculator right so let's go for it 9 5 45 1.25 so it's 36 now okay, you can see this optimum optimum time optimum time right so uh, yeah optimum time a tool life minimum cost this this so optimum time for the tool life that is given is in 36 but we have to now choose minute yes so what we got 36 now can you guess the unit of this yes the unit of this in minute so which one is the right answer that is d so this is how you can solve question related to t optimum now as you are watching this video let me share with you how to find out how to find out v optimum yes i have to share with you this how to find out v optimum one is you once you come to know how to find out t optimum can you tell me how to find out v optimum because i have already shared with you that equation that is v t to the power n is equal to constant now from this equation only you can able to realize that how to find out v optimum see from this equation we can write v is equal to c by t to the power n if we wanted to find out t uh, v optimum then c we have to write in the place of t t optimum that is 1 by n minus 1 t c t plus m2 by m1 and its whole n that is to life exponent you can say that okay so this is about all things what i have shared with you till now now most important factor how you can remember these formulas in the examination time because that is also important if you forget the formula how could it possible you can do much better so this is this is not like that i mean you know uh, okay so it's okay but thing is that how to remember there is one thing that is practice nothing else okay so at the end of the video i will share with you a few data that is about tool live exponent that is n n is tool life exponent so actually you know tool life exponent vary from materials to materials so different materials having different different tool life exponent values suppose that we have high speed high speed steel its exponent value is 1. Point, sorry 0. 0.15 if we will have carbides suppose that we are having carbides its value is 0 0.22 0 0.4 now think about we have ceramics tools c e r a m i c s ceramics tools then its value is 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 so these values you can remember uh, probably it will be helpful for you in future okay so this is all about t optimum b optimum and two life exponent and of course the numerical problem which i have shared with you i hope you have enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye all right my dear so this is ujjal kumar sen and in this video tutorial you are going to learn about drilling okay 
so what is basically drilling you know that we usually you know for uh, for creating holes on any sheet metal i mean anywhere maybe in home appliances we also used suppose we wanted to create a hole we will use a drill tip and drill tool then we have drill machine and all that connected together right so for creating holes we use drilling machine okay so but the drilling you know one of the difference drilling and boring most of the time we have been asked drilling you know we wanted to create a first hole a small hole there would not be any hole presence before that is known as drilling and for increasing size of the hole we used boring that means first operation we do drilling and for increasing the size of the hole we do boring so this is the real difference between drilling and boring well that is not the reason i am creating this tutorial this tutorial is dedicated to competitive examination <coughs> especially yet so in this uh, tutorial i am going to share with you uh, questions those has been asking it but before going to share with you questions let me share with you with you two most important formula those has been used to solve problems in case of drilling I'm sure these formulas are just key to solve problem for this topic so first formula is you know that is cutting speed cutting speed Cutting speed V is equal to pi dm by thousand, and that would be in meter per minute. Okay. Second formula is MRR. MRR. This is what material removal rate. MRR is material removal rate. Its formula is pi d square f n by 4 okay so f what is f f is feed and is revolution per minute and d is you can say diameter right diameter of the hole you can say okay now let's go for you know let's go for the third and most important formula that is probably you can understand right machining time and this is the formula which has been asked at least eight times eight times in gate they have asked this question at least i have seen eight times question they have asked so basically i am going to share with you two three questions those has been asked already so what is the formula for finding out machining time let's say tm machining time okay that is l by f into f see here is the key f is feed and is revolution per minute they may they may give you the relation of this they may give you speed you have to find out n from here then you have to put here to relate these two formulas okay so it's all about interlinking when they do interlink then what happen if you if we do not practice a lot then we don't understand from where they are interlinking with each other so first of all we need to practice we need to do practice we have to solve problems at least five six problems for any topic once we will come to know how to solve problems then things become quite easier for us to solve problems so l is you know l most important thing is the l l is equal to l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 n1 what is l1 this is a depth of hole this is depth of hole or thickness or thickness of the material all right l2 what is l2 approach length all right what is l3 l3 is length of tip is equal to 0.5 d by 10 theta i will share with you an important thing here what is theta oh yeah i will share with you what is theta exactly because you know when most of the time we got confused what we got into confusion the what is theta how to find out theta and what is all about this i will share with you here because most of the time they have a question related to it and uh, uh, i am sure people get confused here okay 
and L4 is over travel. So this is all about three formulas and how things related to these formulas I have shared with you. Now we'll go for all those questions. Those are most important and definitely I will share with you how to solve those questions. Uh, first of all, I will share with you simple way to solve those questions. Then I will sh share with you the super fast way to solve the question. Okay, that's why we will have approach to solve questions with maintaining accuracy and of course time management play most important role in case of committee uh, committee examination right so let's go for all those questions those are most important for you right so here is the question we got here and what we have been asked in this question that is we have to find out time required to drill the hole that is tm machining time we have to find out right so first of all what we got from this question that we have to find out machining time this is the simple way and most accurate way to solve any question so for finding out machining time i have already shared with you formula is l into f into n now what next we have to this is the super fast way what we have to do we have to find out first all these things what is f what is n so we have given feed is equal to 0 0.3 what is n we don't have given okay no problem what is l it directly we don't have given but we have given velocity and his speed is 20 meter per minute right if speed is given then we can easily find out what n that is revolution per minute because we know v is equal to pi d n by pi d n by thousand so n is equal to v into thousand by pi d so what is v here 20 into 1000 by pi d now most important thing what is d here diameter of the hole you can see okay so here we have given d is what that is mm drill so if the diameter of the drill is 31.8 then definitely hold the uh, die of the hole would be 31.8 so therefore what will happen 31.8 now what we required we required a calculator to solve the problem right so 20 into 1000 divided by pi into 31.8 so what is it 200.1948 rpm so we got this value 200.1948 right now we have to find out l as i have shared with you l is equal to l1 plus l2 plus l3 and all that plus l4 now how many values we have given that is depend on the i mean that then only we can find out total l so drill hole uh, cast and block thickness thickness is 100 so uh, the, the depth of the hole is 100 right and thick cutting speed this and feed is we have already used over travel of the drill is 4 okay and the approach is 9 so we have done with all uh, you know uh, length of travel that is l is length of travel by the tool so how much is here 113 so 113 right so we got everything now what we required to solve the problem that is a calculator right so 113 divided 0.3 into 200.1948 okay so what how much we got 1.88 1.88 now we have to convert this into what into minute second into minute second because we don't know how to convert so how to convert this into you know minute uh, what I'm talking about minute as second because we have given answer in minute and second and we got this here that is total machining time okay so we have to convert this in minute second therefore one weighted into 60 so how much we are getting 112.8 that means if you will divide by 60 okay not not divide by 60 which is what is happening here if I minus 60 then what happened 52.8 eight second and 60 second is one minute so answer is one minute 52.8 second so here is the right answer one minute 53 seconds because it is the closer one that which answer we got from here 
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट यू नो सॉल्विंग न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू ड्रिलिंग मशीन नाउ विल गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज हियर जस्ट बिलो वी हैव गिवेन इन दिस क्वेश्चन राइट सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वट वी हैव गिवेन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव गिवेन दैट होल्स ऑफ टेन एम एम डायमीटर आर टू बी ड्रिल्ड इन ए स्टील प्लेट ऑफ या so in this question what we have given or what we have to find out i am sharing with you the super fast way to solve the question right so first of all this is the way to i mean this is really simple first of all we have to find out what we need to find out so in this question we have also given that the time for producing a hole and you know most of the time this thing i mean what you need to find out where you can get at the end of the question or maybe in the first of the first line of the question 90% times you will get this right so machining time that is we have to find out tm for drilling machine l by f into n now we have to find out these three things and things done now as you can th see here 300 rpm that means n is here f is feed is 0.2 0.2 is here here now we have to find out l l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 right so what is l1 basically we know that that l1 is something which is depth of a hole, depth of whole material that means thickness you can say so here is 20 plus l2 what is l2 we have been approach length now are the are, are the given this approach length anywhere i don't think so because here are things only they have given okay so approach length is not given okay leave it now third is they have given this i have shared with you how to length of tip how to find out 0.5 d by 10 theta now 0.5 d is how much d is we have given that is this is 10 mm diameter okay 10 Tan theta. What is theta? Basically, we need to find out theta. And theta is equal to drill point angle. That is D P A by two. That is one twenty by two. That is sixty. So here just put sixty and get the answer. And uh, over table we have given two. Okay. So after calculation this, we just need to add. So the twenty two plus this much. So 0.5 into 10 divided by sorry 0.5 into 10 10 60 is this plus 22 is equal to 24.88867 okay this is the length of travel by the tool so 24.88867 right so what we got 24.8867 divided by 0.2 multiple 300. So how much we are getting here? Zero point four one four into sixty. Therefore, we are getting here twenty four point eight eight seconds, right? Twenty four point eight eight seconds we are getting here. Now, what is the right answer? That is twenty four point eight eight seconds. I hope you got how to find out the answer for this question. So this is how we can solve question related related to drilling. and of course uh, <clears throat> this is going to help you a lot okay so the right answer is c let me first cross check the answer is right or wrong then i will go forward to the next question yeah the other answer and the answer is absolutely right because uh, 24.88 close one is 25 seconds so this is this is about this question now we have another question that is last one after then i will not share with you any question related to drilling in this video total because already it's around 15 minutes so let's go for this question super first method we are going to use so first of all for finding out what we have to find out what i have to do i have to check the end of the question as well as beginning of the question first check and end of the question so what we have given in the end of the question find out total drill time that means tm is equal to l by f into n now we have to find out n what is n here 500 rpm now we have to find depth feed i mean so not feed, depth speed 0.2 okay so now l is equal to l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 so l1 is this one uh this one diameter inclined uh, thickness right 
the thickness l2 what is l2 basically approach length so yeah this is the approach length approach and exit so see they have two approach length at the beginning at the end that means two multiple two okay so l3 what is l3 basically 0 0.5 d by 10 theta plus l4 l4 is over uh, travel over travel they are given no because we have already exit point we have already taken so there is no zero let's say so 0 0.5 d what is d diameter is 15 and 10 theta what is theta they have given drill uh, theta is equal to i have already shown drill point angle by 2 that is 118 by 2 that is 59 degree right so here i can write 59 okay so what i have to do i have to just calculate this so 54 point this one this one is how much for this i need to use calculator right so 15 divided by 10 59 this much plus 54 right now yeah is equal to how much 88.5494 uh 88.5494 mm right just put this here 88.5494 okay then divide by 0.2 into 500 is equal to 0.8 now i have to multiple will with 60 so its answer i am getting here 53 point something so probably i am doing some mistake maybe i don't know let me cross check after then i will share with you what to do i mean what to what to share with you here only right so let's cross check first all right so uh, here is a mistake basically you know 54 plus 4 points right how could it be possible so 54 this one is 0.5 multiple 15 divide sorry <coughs> 0.5 multiple 15 divided by 10 59 is this plus 54 okay so it's 58.50 so this become 58.50 divided 0.2 multiple 500 okay multiple 60 so it's 35.10 seconds let's check the answer yeah so is the right answer for this question so this is how you can solve question related to drilling i hope you understand it and uh, thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye so how are you so in this video tutorial well this is jal kumar sen and in this video tutorial i'm going to share with you couple of videos those has been asked in gate and the topic is same that is to life and it is also known as Taylor's tool life. So uh, probably you know what is tool life equation just like V T to the power N is equal to constant right and this N is having different values all the time. This is known as uh, uh, Taylor's tool life or tool, uh, life, uh, tool life exponent you can say okay. So based on this uh, equation in gate examination they have asked questions several times. I have a record of this, you know, they have question around uh, uh, seven, uh, 13, 14 times. I have seen questions. Probably I missed some questions and uh, it is more than even 13 times they have asked till now in gate. So in this video total, I am going to share with you about this, I mean about this topic, at least five questions. Those has been asked in gate. That's why you will have approach and all all questions are having different different angle to solve question and all of the question in all of the question we are using the same equation that is v to the power n is equal to constant just like in front of you a question is here and in this question what we have to find out that is to life so to life is denoted by t so we have to find out t and we have an equation v to the power n is equal to constant this is the equation like so we have to use what given in the question and by using those things we can find out the answer what required what have been asked right so here they have x 10 hours 2 life is 10 hours okay so 2 life is 10 hours right and then they said single point cutting to and speed is here v is equal to 63 meter per minute okay so first see unit okay so i have to convert it into minute then it would be what this would be 600 minute right 
Now what I have to do, I have to read further. If Taylor's constant C is equal to 257.35 and to life on doubling the velocity. If we are in doubling the velocity, just like case 1 here, okay. If they are increasing case 2, if they are increasing its velocity, that, that means if velocity would be double 63 multiple 2, what 126 meter per minute, then T is equal to what? Right. So what we have given here, if we'll use this equation, we have 126 T we have to find out and we don't know and C we have given 257.35. So, for by using these data, if I can able to find out n, that is 2 life exon exponent, then I can easily find out the value of t. So, this is the thing. I mean, first of all, you have to read the question, then re uh, first write what you have to find out, then see what given or what is not given. Find out all things together and then find out the final answer. That is the key to get success or key to solve numerical problems, right? So, this is about it. Now, what I have to do, I have to again we use that equation v to the power n is equal to constant. v is 63 here, t is uh, 600 minutes per to the power, uh, to the power n and 57.35. So, what I have to find out, n I have to find out. So, what I will do, I will send 63 to that side. Okay, so 257.35 by 63. Okay. Now, now I have to. I can do calculation, but what I am doing, I am doing applying log both side. Applying log both side. Okay, so n will be come out n natural log six hundred, and here the do. Okay, same value is here. So n is equal to what will happen? This do divided by six hundred. This do means this value. Okay, so answer is answer. I have to find out natural log. 257.35 divided by 63 divided natural log 600 okay we are getting n is equal to 0.2199 right this is the thing we are getting so i can write here 0.2199 now what i have to do i have to send this value to this side so t to the power 0.2199 257.35 by 126 now this is here so if i will send this value that side what will happen what will happen 1 by reciprocal will be happen so t is equal to 257.35 126 1 by 0 0.2199 so 257.35 126 1 divided by <coughs> sorry yeah 1 divided by 0.2199 so how much exactly we are getting here values 25.72 to life in that should be in minutes so this is the to life 27 25.72 so the answer is c here i hope you understand how i have solved this question so this is the way to solve question and uh, and you know and the first question is over now what we'll do we'll go move to the second question that we have just given here and of course the formula would be same what I am using but approach and the quotient angle of the quotient is different so let's go for that question yeah right now we are having this question and this question has been asked in linked I mean two questions they have asked from here but I am sharing with you in this video only tailors to life okay so that's why this question is here now what we have given in this question applying tailors to life is so they have option is here that is vt to the power 0.25 is equal to 160 i have to find out two life again i have to find out t now thing is here everything is given i have to just find out v i have to find out v and what we know v is equal to pi dn by thousand that's because of that unit so pi d is how much we have to find out from this question only so we have given diameter is 50 we have to find out n length is this and turn yeah we have to find out this n so 200 is given here by thousand if i'll do this 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 so 10 multiple 3.14 3.1 oh sorry uh, 31.4 its velocity meter per minute everything is uh, yeah everything is given 
So this is how we can solve question. The velocity we got how much? 31.4 uh, meter per minute. Now I have to solve this value here. So 31.4 t to the power 0 0.25 160 I can send this value here t to the power 0 0.25 160 31.4 so what I can do I can send this value to this side so 1 by 0 0.25 after solving this we get the answer so let's do it 160 divided by 31.4 and 1 divided 0 0.25 so what we got here 674.157 is the right answer so it is in minutes because we got this in minute so this is the answer the b is the right answer for this question i hope you have understand each and everything what i am sharing with you right now and i am using using that same concept but the way to use the concept is different and this is a very common formula okay i have already shared with you in my uh, previous video uh, videos about drilling there i have shared with you about this formula and this is a very common formula we have studied about this formula every time to convert velocity into rpm or rpm into velocity this is the relation most useful relation in uh, you can say in mechanical engineering okay we have used in different different subjects in the, this relation only probably i'm a little bit fast right but yeah i can speak slow also so uh, let's uh, go for the next question what question the question number third we have right now and in this question what we have given uh, i'm not going to see because i have already shared with you the relation one relation that is important which i we have we will just we will use that relation in each and every numerical problems so what we got here we have to find out tool life tool life so tool life t we have to find out we have given v is equal to 40 meter per minute velocity so we know that v to the power n is equal to constant so we have given v that is 40 we don't know t we have to find out n we don't know c we don't know anyhow if we can come to know about n and c our job done right now we have to read the question because we require these two values uh, you know we require these two values without these values we cannot solve the question now in a cutting test, okay, flash we are okay, tool were cutting, okay. A tool life of 10 minutes was obtained at a cutting speed this. So we have a case. Case one, they have given that t is equal to 10 minute, tool life is equal to 10 minute, and cutting velocity is 20 meter per minute. Taking tool life exponent, okay. We found that 0.25. Now we have what we required C only if anyhow we can find out c then we can solve the question okay so we have given this option for n is equal to 0.25 also now what we know b t to the power n equal to constant we have everything here so by using these values we can find out c so v 20 t 10 and 0.25 is equal to c we'll solve this problem we'll solve this equation after solving this we can get the value of c and the and the put the value of c here and get the answer okay so what we require right now we require calculator 20 multiple 10 to the power 0 0.5 35.6 okay so value of c is 35.56 okay so 35.56 what i will do i will send this value to this side so cut this and put it here what I will do, I will send with the value side 1 by 0.25. Okay. So, calculator again useful 35.56 divided 40. So, what 1 divided 0.25? Point, uh, what is the answer? 0 0.62, 0 0.6246. Which one is the answer here? A. A is the right answer for this question. I hope you understand this, right? And is there any other thing I am using to solve numerical problem other than v to the power n is equal to constant? I don't think so. Yeah, I am using some basic concept. Those probably you also know. Anybody can tell. I mean, almost anybody because they're preparing for examination just like gate. So this is all about the tool, Taylor's tool life. Okay. Now let's move for the fourth question. Question number four. I'm sure you are enjoying the total, right? So let's move to the question number four. Yeah. 
we have the question and this question also asked in gate previous year paper right now you can read the question again i am not going to use the you know that old formula the first write down what given and all that i am just going to use the basic concept that's it, the most important tips that is what i have to find out from this question what i have to find out so two life for the cutting speed again i have to find out t is equal to what so i will write that equation v to the power n is equal to constant and they said cutting speed is this so i will write in the place of v two life to find out and see now again if anyhow i can able to i can manage to get value of n and see i can find out the answer okay now i'll read the question okay they probably they have given case here also okay case so they said uh, for turning nickel and chromium alloy steel at cutting speed of v is equal to 64 unit play most important role don't forget to write unit right speed of this and this 100 meter oh sorry yeah v1 is this v2 is 100 meter per minute the respective two lives are t1 is equal to 15 minutes to 2 is equal to 12 minutes right now two life for cutting speed this so this is another uh, important question again from the equation we can say v1 t1 is equal to v2 v2 t2 to the power n. we have this equation also so what we, we can find out from this the value of n n is equal to what n is equal to what we have to find out from this equation right so let's go for it try it man if you are in just watching this video then probably this video total is not going to help you that much i'm sure if you are just watching this video then probably this video total cannot help you too much but if you are using pen pencil as well as your brain while solving problem then i'm sure this video tutorial can help you a lot okay so just pause this video and try to solve yourself after getting these values because if you will only watch how to solve then probably you will come to know how to solve but you will not, you are not practicing practice a lot okay so what we got here v1 t to the power n is equal to v2 to the power n okay so we have to find out value of n from here so what we can do v1 We'll send this v2 to this side will t1 this side t2 by t1 to the power n right now i can use net log so i n v1 v2 t2 by t1 whole to the power n so n will come this side so it will happen n t2 by t1 is equal to v1 by v2 okay so we can send this value to this side okay we're just sending here t2 by t1 got it so n is equal to what we are getting i n v1 by v2 i n t2 by t1 so not i n it's ln sorry for that it's natural log right so what we got it's a natural log v1 is 64 v2 is 100 natural log t2 t2 is 12 and t1 is 15 so we have to just use calculator natural log 64 so it's 0.64 right divided natural log 12 divided by yeah just use that 12 divided by 15 so it's n is equal to 2 here we got we got n is equal to 2 now is there any way to get c the value of c yes we can find out the value of c by using any equation among these so we got here v1 t to the power n is equal to constant like constant is equal to v1 64 t is 15 to the square so what we got here 64 into 15 square we are getting 14400 okay so we can use that so here what what we have to do 14400 divided 144 and whole to the power 1 by 2 then we can find out the answer so it's 10 minutes we are getting what uh, it's c we are okay t is equal to 10 minutes 
I hope you have learned the approach what I am sharing with you right now and the single formula can change can change the way you think I mean, can you understand where we can use this formula to find out answers there are lot of space uh, I, mean, I mean how they can confuse you in the single formula only so uh, this is this is great man you have to prepare them well so here now what we got another question we got here let me find out the pen yeah so another question we got here and this is the last question i am not going to share with any question uh, probably i am not probably because this is a fifth number question right so it's been a little bit lengthy uh, usually i create videos about 10 to 15 minutes but this is till now around 17 minutes i have been talking and i have been solving question now probably it, it will take another 5 to 10 minutes and uh, then we'll end uh, this uh, video tutorial okay hope you are enjoying a lot and this is my main motto for creating lot of videos for you guys that's why you can get success now another question we got and in this question we cannot say any i i cannot say any values so that means this would be more interesting right so let's go for it what i have to find out first let's let me see the uh, the exponent n in the tailors okay here i have to find out value of n so we know that what v to the power n is equal to constant so what we require we need v we need t we need c that means we have to find out three things from this question only and as you can see from this question i cannot see any values so i have to read the question carefully what what are, what, what is about the question so in this question in a machining operation doubling the cutting speed reduces the tool life to okay okay so they are saying they are saying if v1 there is case and t1 okay so we have v1 and t1 given if i am increasing to its 2 v1 then its two life is t1 by 8 <coughs> sorry for that okay so winter season is going on so t1 by 8 right so what we got here 2 v1 by this so we got two cases from here now what I have to do, what I have to find out that if it is happening, the exponent n a tuller's liquid, okay. So we have to find out n, we have two cases, case 1 and case 2. From by using these two cases, we have to find out what is the value of n. Now as you know, the equation is given v to the power n is equal to constant, right? So what we can do exactly, we know that suppose that it's v1 t1 to the power constant now second is here 2 v1 t1 by a to the power n is equal to constant 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 values are same as you know therefore what we can write v1 t1 to the power n 2 v1 t1 by a to the power n right now v1 v1 get cancelled so 2 is remaining there again we got these values right so what we can do let me write t1 to the power n by 2 is equal to t1 to the power n by 8 to the power n so t1 to the power n and t2 t1 to the power n get cancelled so what we got values are 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 8 to the power n because 1 to the power if i am doing 1 to the power 100 and by 100 even its value is uh, its value is 1 right not 100 so this is about it that's why i have put it there it okay so so from this what we can do basically what we can do we can write this equation 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 to the power 3 n right so what we can do here also what we can do we can say 3 n is equal to 1 by using log formula we can do also right so i mean how natural log put natural log so i am uh, so what will happen natural log 1 by 2 is equal to 3n natural log 1 by 2 so send this this cancel so 3n is equal to 1 i have already shared with you how to do that and n is equal to what 1 by 3 so as you can see the answers options you have given and you can choose or mark the right answer quite easily so which one is the right answer can you guess my dear don't need to guess because i have shared with you how to solve the question so it's a is the right answer i hope you have enjoyed the total and learned lot of stuff about tailored to life numerical approach and thanks for watching see you soon in my next video and of course if you like the video share this video with all of your friends that's why they can also learn about tailored to life in much better way and interactive way thanks for watching bye bye
Hello my dear, so this is Jill Kumar Sen and in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to find out total cost, total cost of machining per piece product. Suppose that I wanted to manufacture this pen and I wanted to find out how much money I have to invest to find out, uh, to uh, you know, to manufacture this product, per piece product. Okay, so basically if I am talking about machining operation then how much money we have to invest in machining to make one product so basically this is the definition I mean this is about it but knowing about it is not going to help you to solve numerical problems so what you need to learn to solve numerical problems that is formula most important is what formula without knowing formula you cannot solve numerical problems so for finding out total cost we have to find out four things first second third and fourth first one is not that much important because it's known as idle cost idle cost and most of the time it is given it is constant and if you are solving numerical problems then it is easy I mean it is much easier but if you are solving this problem in industry then you have to find out how much time the machine is not working and of course it is cost I mean, I mean if you have gone to any manufacturing industry and nowadays manufacturing industries are working or people are working on ships their industry is working 24 into 7 so people are working in shift and then in any shift how much time the machine is idle probably because of you know because of sequence of machining process and then there may be many reasons maybe breakdown okay so we have to include that also idle cost that is machine is idle okay second I will go to the next one that is machining cost machining cost okay so what is basically machining cost that is machining time machining time multiple direct labor cost I have also shared with you about it that is M1 M1 means direct labor cost many books have given they have they have given different names but I, I said this is M1 direct labor cost is M1 now here it is also okay machining direct labor cost is, ah, yes one thing I need to share with you here most of the time direct labor cost will have given in the question hour per minute but you have to convert into rupees per minute because you have to find out the required answer in minute most of the time okay so do check unit first unit play most important role if you will not check and you will make mistake in that then what's the need, what's the use of knowing all things to I mean all things okay so there is nothing to I mean there is not, no benefit of knowing the formula so always see unit okay now what is machining time machining time means you know we have denote this machining time by TM TM, TM is equal to L by F into N now what is L L means length of travel by the machine okay F is feed mm per revolution N is in RPM now you can relate this N to the another formula that is speed is equal to pi dn by thousand now you can understand how these formulas are related to each other so if you know how to find out total cost of machining then automatically you will come to know lot of formulas lot of things lot of relation which is really play important and which is really going to help you to solve numerical problems right now third one that is TCT TCT okay but not exactly TCT it's TCT means tool changing time it's tool changing cost I must say because here what exactly we are talking about that is cost so TC, T, TCC so I must say this is TCC tool changing cost that is equal to M1 means direct labor cost again do check this unit right multiple number of tool failures how many tools has been failures multiple tool changing time and of course this this should be in minute if it is given in hour change it into minute okay 
it will help you a lot okay that's why i am sharing with you so we have gone through three types of cost those are related to total cost of machining per piece product now we have remained the last one that is what i am sharing with you that is known as tool regrinding cost tool regrinding cost again here i have to relate with that term that is m1 that means direct labor cost that means direct labor cost okay into l by f into l by f into n what is l what is f what is n i have already shared with you this is known as machining time l by f into n multiple v by c to the power 1 by n into tool changing time now what is this v by c to the power you know that according to taylor's tool life we have taylor's tool life what we have let me share with you that is v t to the power n is equal to constant right v to the power n is equal to constant so from that we can from that we can understand the the relation between between the uh, the speed and uh, taylor's two life constant and exponent from here also we can find out this value okay so this is the fourth one what i have shared with you right now only okay now most important thing are you going to get this much lengthy numerical problem in examination just like get then let me tell you frankly till now i haven't seen probably they have asked i don't know but i haven't seen question and i have solved more than 50 questions of this topic yes 50 question i have shared with you all about 20 to 30 questions in this topic only on machining and metal cutting i must say that so why i am sharing with you all this information because i did that's why you will not so most important thing what is this necessary to know about this formula yes probably they can ask you for two marks but they are not going to test your your memory skill they are going to test your intellectual knowledge your thinking so they can trap they can help they can you know they can try to confuse you by giving these relations these relations that means you have to use relations of formulas to find out the answers in the competitive examination what happen what they usually actually do they just relate one formula with the another one to make student confused but to uh, increase the difficulty level basically so how to overcome such for how to overcome from such difficulty level first practice a lot second think like examiner i mean what type of question they can ask if you will think like it then it becomes quite easier for you and yes you need to observe questions and pattern how they are asking question once you will start observing analyzing questions and you will understand the way the pattern as they are asking the question then things become quite easier for you then you are thinking right now all right so this is all about total cost of machining per piece product i have already shared with you from this formula pretty formula this pretty formula i have one and two these are most important because they have asked question from these two formulas yes they have asked machining time and they haven't give this now l is equal to what total tool travel there are many things to learn here because if you are learning drilling i have already shared with you about drilling then l is equal to l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 there are few things we need to learn here right so <clears throat> this is all about you know interrelationships of formula okay so uh, right now i don't have an examples to share with you how to find out total machining cost i have already shared with you numerical problems many numerical problems in uh, those already asked in gate so don't need to repeat and yes uh, one more thing would like to i would like to share with you that is first of all what you have to do you have to list make list of formulas in every topic if you are preparing for it frankly saying if you will make a list of formulas then try to solve related problems 
related to that formula then you will see things will become much easier for you i hope you understand this topic i hope what i have shared with you those are very useful for you and uh, thank you very much for watching bye bye